is our pride that we have uh, invited sir and he is finally here so as you all all know this is alchemy a business case study competition so we do not have to only think about the business and earning money we have to make the students think about what we can do for the nation as well as while doing the business so sir is here with us Can I ask, how do you foresee the future of the next generation? The future of the next generation believes in the India or that is Bharat, which is having the contribution. or survival and continuity of not only the 21 centuries but even before that but at the same times they are having scientific temper they are having all the skills which is required to take a leap frog and that is where these new business innovations comes into for i wish them all the best but i must say from the robert forst that we have promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep so there's still a long way to go but we are doing well the students actually require this sort of stays this sort of forum where the industrialist the finance groups the universities the schools business schools are coming together for a better future to be created with a purpose to reach to the last man in the start of the society development means or the business means the circulation of money for the enhancement of the human development index of all so i believe that uh, business without morals and ethics is a sin they should go ahead with a leaf frog but at the same time they should take into consideration that what is correct for the society for the last person of the society what is good for the nation and the mankind thank you so one question uh, this is sunny from india i uh, just want to know your view on as you are a very successful professional yourself what's your basic guru mantra for students who want to be a successful in personal as well as professional life guru mantra for all is think positive be positive and always think for doing something new innovative because doing whatever doing you are doing in a routine manner or routine fashion will not take you further thank you uh, my thank question you. is uh, what will be what message you want to give to those students who want to become a ips ips officer like you so they must go through first the cardinal principles of civil services that is subjectivity objectivity integrity honesty transparency neutrality commitments towards the constitution and serving the common people if they are clear about it that why they want to become 
a civil servant, an IS, an IPS, an IFS, and a custom and excise services officer, and an income tax officer, if they are quite clear about it, then they should go ahead with it. All the other qualities required will be inculcated. But this why should be clear, crystal clear. India collaborate to promote entrepreneurship in India? So, it is quite evident that if we only think that the government should do everything, then in that case, we fell in trap of bureaucracy, sometimes red tapism, sometimes corruption, and many other uh, hindrances or stumbling blocks. But if the private sectors, school, colleges, institution and educational institutions, etc., also participate in it, there would be more transparency, there would be more uh, positivity and openness. At the same time, it would be expeditious because there would be pressures group from outside. Secondly, many a time, government might not have enough money for that particular sector or that particular business. But if, if private people are impressed upon or the presentation of the students are impactful, then they can take it up. And that is what is happening in modern India. Thank you. Thank you.